as we approach the end of the year, a lot of people, they're asking themselves how to do better next year, how to grow their business faster, how to be more healthy, how to improve their relationships, right? And I'm one of them. I'm also, I'm planning to double my business next year and I'm doing everything within my power to make that happen. And today I want to talk about a certain skill that you need to have, right? It's actually proven that you need to have in order to be able to achieve that a lot easier. And this all started with a recent mastermind I had where Robert Cialdini was, uh, was as well. So if you don't know who that is, he's the author of the book Influence, which is basically seen as the most uh, respectful book in the like about persuasion right about marketing so if you haven't read that book i'd highly highly recommend it uh, anyway he was there and he was talking about you know various human behaviors and how people think and how human psychology is working and one of the things he was talking about is and actually it started with an experiment that was done uh, in the 60s or 70s, like quite a while ago, where they invited a bunch of kids, right? And, and every kid, they had like a candy, they got like a candy. And they were told like, hey, you can, you can uh, take the candy now, that's no pressure, you can, it's yours, like feel free to have your candy. Or you wait for a certain amount of time and you will get two candies, right? And for a kid, that is really hard, right? Because kids, they're like, oh, like I have that candy, like, like to, for, him, for, for, those, for those kids to wait, for a while to then get two candies, it's a hard thing, right? And here's the interesting thing, they started to follow the kids, right? Because some kids, they just took the one candy, right? And some kids are like, they waited and waited and waited, waited a bit longer, and then they got two candies, right? Which is awesome. And they started following those kids over their career, like over uh, the next, next years, not just like as a kid, but like as an actual adult, right? And the interesting thing is that they found that those who waited for that second uh, candy, they were way more successful in life, right? They had better careers, uh, more income, all those kind of things. And why is that? Because those kids, they didn't go for instant gratification, but they accepted the late gratification, right? And if you look at it, like in business or in anything in life, that's very, very, very much needed as well. Because right now, if, like, if I wanna grow my business next year, there's two things I can do, right? I can make sure like, oh, like I, wanna, I wanna grow my business, so I'm gonna do everything within my power this week, today, to make sure I get results this week, right? Like I wanna make sure that whatever I do, I get results right now. Like I'm gonna send out an offer to my audience. I'm gonna create something, I'm gonna sell things today because I wanna make sure my revenue goes up right away, right? Like boom, and I just look at the immediate gratification. I just look at like what is gonna make sure that, that right now I grow, right? Because I wanna have it right now. And then next week I do the same thing. I wanna make sure I do everything within my power to grow that week, instant gratification, like boom. And that seems like a cool idea, but it's actually a bad idea, right? Because what you wanna do, you wanna think ahead of time. You wanna go for the late gratification. You wanna do the things that even like, even though do all the work today, that you know like, ah, this may not actually you know, result in anything like this week, not even this month or not even this year, but this is gonna pay me off a year from now, right? Make sure that you have the, you look at the long picture because then you can start doing things that you can put all the work and you can just start stacking up instead of always doing one thing and get results right away and then another thing, get results right away, another thing, get results right away. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put all the work in and you're gonna basically plant a lot of seeds, like you're gonna do this and that's gonna, that's gonna work for you for a longer period of time, not just today, right? but for a longer period of time. And then you're gonna do another thing. Also, it's gonna work for a longer period of time. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna stack things on top of each other, right? And it may sound kind of vague, but that's really what it is. Like you can put out an offer right now, or you can start working on a very good funnel. I'm just, as an example, right? That might take you quite a while to actually get there. It might take you a couple of months to really create it. But once it's actually working really, really well, you know it's, good. it's an asset that you have in your business because over time you can keep using that and you keep using it to get more clients in for years to come, right? A good funnel can definitely last years. I've had some funnels that have been working since 2016 and are still performing today because I put in the effort and I didn't look at like, oh, how do I make more revenue today? But I looked at it like, how can I make sure that a year from now, this is gonna still be useful in my business, right? I'm gonna make sure that whatever I do, it's still gonna work a year from now. It's gonna still gonna work at two years from now because I look at the delayed gratification. I don't look at what I get right now. So if you really wanna grow your business, not just today, but next year, the year after that, the year after that, or if you wanna be more healthy, right? Next year, year after that, or if you wanna have more better relationships, whatever it is, look at it like, what, what can I do today to make sure I get those results ongoing, long-term? And don't just look at it like right now. So if you're someone who's, who, who has that, like who's, who's okay with delayed gratification, 
awesome. If you're not, if you feel that you're still going after like, oh, I want to, I want to make something work today. I want to get results right now. Then I promise you, like you need to change that mindset in order to really be successful. And I promise you that's like 100% what I believe. So actually a couple of years ago, I went back to zero literally overnight. Like I was uh, quite successful with uh, like affiliates and, and, and AdWords and like no need to go into that. Point is I went back to zero. So I had to start a new business, right? And the only thing I was thinking of, like I need to get something off the ground because like I had zero income. So I needed to have instant results, right? So what did I do? I started focusing. I started asking myself the question, how do I make money today? How do I make money this week, right? And I kept asking myself that question. I did everything I, can, I could to create something that would immediately return into money, right? To tr immediately try to earn something. <laughs> Guess what happened? For six months, nothing I tried worked. <laughs> Not a freaking thing, right? And the, the moment it started, something started working, the moment I started actually earning was when I, when I forgot that. Like, I didn't focus on that. Actually, to be completely honest, I still focus on making money. Like, how do I make money? And then in the evening, I allowed myself to work on a fun, on fun projects, which were not related to making money at all. Like, I, that was just a hobby, right? And in that, in that particular case, I created uh, a simple tool. Like, I, I hired someone to build a simple tool, which I wanted to have. It was fun. And I thought other people would use it as well. In other words, I was trying to look at it like, what can I create? Other people get value from as well. No, no intention of like, how do I make money? Just that, right? And then one thing led to another and that started doing really well. Not because I was looking at like, how do I make money? But like, how do I create something that creates value over time, right? And that shift, boom, that's what got me the result. And from that point onwards, I've always been looking at my business and everything. Like, how do I make sure that I add value long-term? How do I make sure that this gets result long-term and not today? Like, it can get results today, but that's really not the goal. So if you're trying to grow your business, if you're trying to improve at any part in life, look at the long-term vision. Basically, you need to sacrifice today, sacrifice this week, sacrifice this month for tomorrow, for next month, for next year. And that's really my message with all of you today. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if so, I'll see you next time.